Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And do you notice something different? Well, first of all, we are on the little lobby section on the bridge of the Dreadnought. I don't know if you've seen this. There's a little power do that. But can you tell something different about the graphics? I hope so, because I have acquired a new graphics card. That's right. I saved up my pennies, and I bought me a real graphics card. And right now I'm running with the Dreadnought 100... Oh, 82 frames was 100 and 1217 frames a second. I am happy. I have the graphics cranked up a bit. Except I still have shadows off. Wow, look how scratched up that hole is. And I, I even bumped up my recording. So it should be prettier recording, prettier game, prettier on every level. So this is just to test it out. Uh, to see what my graphics card can handle. Oh. I'm so happy. I can work on my, my drug knot again on on camera. The door. Is that damaged? No, it's not damaged. It's just cloudy. All right. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I do have shadows off because shadows were giving me some problems. Wow. And there it is. Not at half a frame a second. I, we should probably add the uh, my support ships into this. Uh, I was thinking, what utility vessels on the front one? Six uh, fighters in the middle and missing blocks. I got missing blocks. I need to fix that. And bombers in the back. Two bombers in the back. Let's see. I don't know if you've seen my. My uh, additions since then, or since last time, but I've I've prettied up the back a bit. I made it more greebly. I still need to do something here, but I'm waiting on doing lots on the underbelly because I would like a big gun here, like a siege gun. So a big turret. I'd like to set there. I don't want to do too much with the underbelly decoration wise until that's done. Let's see. I have all these pipes and and uh, this new display, uh, new decorative block here. It's glorious. All right, let's see what else do we have? Well, actually, right now I'm looking for missing blocks, because apparently I have missing blocks, like the one here in this turret. Why do I have missing blocks? I don't know. Well, we're just going to repair missing blocks. And let's see. Ooh. Need a wedge for that. We got a wedge for that. Better to rip all these off and repair them the old way. Or the old way. I'll just redo them. There doesn't appear to be missing system blocks there. I am missing a system block there. Yeah, that's going to be a pain. I might as well just rip these turrets off. Yeah, and I want to redesign the turrets anyway, so I'm going to rip the turrets off and not worry about them missing blocks. Good grief! Oh, was this... Oh, this must have been back when uh, shields weren't... or were letting things through for whatever reason. Come on. We chose the right way around. Okay, but this is my newest edition of the Dreadnought, so I need to fix it. One missing block? No, it's just a trick of the eye. Okay. So I'm going to pull these turrets out. We're going to redesign them. Alright, so let's see. I also need a big thruster here. Those aren't missing. Well, they are missing, but they're missing because I didn't put them in initially. So let's go fix that. So let's throw symmetry mode on. There we go. And let's do that symmetry as well. Nope. Needs to go down some. What about there? That's it. And let's put these to height this light gray. Um, back 
backdrop there. And then, there we go. I'll probably do lots of the detailing off camera. But I wanted to do this on camera to test my recording software, basically. So thank you for bearing with me testing my recording software. And my new graphics card. Okay, let's see. This also means I'll be able to do bigger and better projects without having to do them off camera and then telling you about them later. Of course, I'll probably still do that just for the sake of time and... Sometimes I don't want to record me trying out an angle 12,000 different times. Alright, just looking for missing blocks. Yes, I know this whole panel's missing. In fact, yeah, let's just take care of this missing panel right now. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do something like this. Something like that, and let's shrink you a bit. And I don't know how this is going to look, but I, I'm going to do it. Oh, no, not you. You know, this thing has close to 2 million blocks. I only need 60,000 blocks more to get it to 2 million. This is the, without a doubt, the largest ship our largest Starmate project I have ever taken on. And hopefully it'll be the the first largest one I finish. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's do a line up here. So a little continuity in, in that. That is this little windowy thing, except I would like some basic armor here. And there we go. I should probably have a taller selection thing. Oh, 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 oh that's basic armor. No, 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 I don't want basic armor there. I want standard armor. Standard dark gray. There we go, that's better. Alright, let's do it like this. We're gonna have to check the outsides for stray blocks. Working like that, always check the outsides for stray blocks. Let's see. I have not played much with my new graphics card with, well, much with anything. Uh, well, I, mean, was, I was going to say with Starmate, but I haven't played much with anything. I just got it here recently. What? Yesterday? Day before? And then I had to wait because my PSU didn't have the appropriate power connectors, so I had to get an adapter. And right now I'm running without my second monitor. So this is interesting. I'm running without my second monitor because I ordered the wrong uh, cable for it. It doesn't have uh, VGA output. So I got a uh, HDVI, HDVI, and I needed an HDVD, I think. I don't know. I just know it's wrong, so I'm running without monitors until Amazon can get me one. Oh, no, I'm not running without monitors. I'm running out without dual monitors until Amazon can get me one. Actually, no, I want that to... to match that angle. There we go. So, that there? Nope, not in there. Work. I was also thinking about naming conventions. Jace Machine in a uh, comment said, you need a naming convention so you don't just sit there and wonder what you're going to call these these ships. So I'm going to run it by you guys. What do you think about having fighters, uh, naming fighters after mythological creatures, and then naming shuttles after beast of burden, like uh, like a camel, a camel class shuttle, or 
something of that nature. I think I think I like that, and because we have the Manticore fighter, it's an old one, but we have it there. That makes it a little more interesting. Yeah, but but that's the sort of idea having a a naming scheme already in place, so I don't have to worry about it. And thank you, Jace, for that suggestion. I used to do that, because no, that was for ship names, though. Because all my frigates used to be named after Shakespearean characters. And what should I... I need a... not a class name, but I also need a name for... A naming scheme for individual designations of ships. Is that black? That's... that's dark gray advanced. Okay. Still looking for missing blocks. I don't think they're going to be on any on the inside. I think these are just puck marks from from uh, shields not working right or shields glitching out or something, which actually I think is a fine uh, fine mechanic, having the shields not work all the time. Ooh ooh ooh! I don't like that joint, but oh, come on. But I think we can turn it into something I do like. Now, I've also not tried any combat with this. Uh, with my new uh, graphics card. Let's see. And hopefully, if the test did good, you'll actually be seeing this. If it didn't, um, I'll be recording a different episode. Let's see, can we actually do something like that? There we go. Extend it. Hmm, excuse me, and extend it so it looks like it was supposed to be extended the whole time. Let's see, and then something like that. Oh, no, you don't. I probably should have did this on the other end. There. Hmm. I get away with this. We're about to find out. We don't go to three. Can't get away with that. That's for sure. Uh, no, I can't get away with that the way I want to. So right now I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I will fiddle with that off camera. No, no, I wanted that one. There you go. No. Stop it. Yeah, I'm going to fiddle with that off camera and see if I can get that to look better for what I want it to do. Okay. All right. Ooh, stripe. Maybe stripes here to break up the big gray flatness. And I'm also thinking something here as well. Uh, maybe armor panels or something. Uh, so let's save it. Uh, what is this? Five? We're going to call it six dread. This is six dread. Okay. I like this ship, and now that I have the capacity to work on it better, I think I'm going to like it even more. Let's see, what do we have lifted? Do we have left prettying up? Maybe filling this with something, probably thrusters, because the thrust is abysmal in this thing. Uh, attaching the fighters, I will do that off camera because that's going to take forever and a day. Uh, I need a main thrust output, thruster output there. I need to pretty up the bridge, pretty up the whole top section. Uh, maybe, or hopefully in more of a design like that. And I'm going to need new turrets. And no, I'm not missing a turret there. I just put those turret docks there to space them out. Then I like the look. Mm. Anywho, oh, oh, and I would like a couple turrets here. Uh, you know, guarding the hangars. And a couple by two on each side. And of course, the big turret. The big siege gun. I might need to move this back some. But that was just a placeholder. All right. I have been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I'll dig you cats later. Okay, if I stopped recording, or 
Oh, I'm terrible. I can't tell without two monitors. Am I going to have to? No, I haven't stopped recording. I have to tab out and do it manually.